I'm Paul Malinek, I'm the Make VR Head of Development, and I'm going to show you Make VR, which is a two handed immersive CAD modeling system that takes a uh, natural two handed interface driven by a pair of track controllers and marries it with a professional grade CAD engine. Um, and so I'm using the Razor Hydra, but uh, any one-to-one -one tracking system will work for this. And essentially that gives me a right hand and a left hand, driving these cursors fully in 3D, position and orientation. And I can reach into space and grab both objects. I can grab the roof off this truck. Woo! Uh, if I grab with both hands, I can stretch it and rotate it. Let's drop it back on here. And it also lets me grab space, so I can grab the world, and very much like 3D multi-touch, I can just grab and swipe they would with images, but I can swipe in all three dimensions. Uh, if I grab with both hands, I can rotate the space at the point between my two hands, and I can also scale in, so I'm just stretching the space, and it lets me uh, move around the scene very, very quickly and position myself for any kind of operation. And you've developed this, or th this is an application now on the Oculus Rift? We are, this is a, you're a natural for the Rift. No, we oh. actually uh, ported to the Rift. Nice. And, uh, this was really designed for full immersion, meaning head mounted. Uh, it, it works very well on a standard screen or, or a screen in stereo with 3D, uh, but the Rift uh, this is a fully self-contained system with all the tools in the Rift with you so that I've got this toolbox as I grow myself or grow the world around me, it shrinks, I, it comes everywhere I go uh, and uh, I'm never groping for a keyboard and mouse. Can you show us some of the the molding and some of the, the cutout stuff that you were? You bet. Showing us um, earlier? So let's uh, step down here and let's say we wanted to uh, cut this foyer or entry into this building. Um, it's very natural in uh, uh, immersive interaction to do freeform, but precision is another thing. We've tackled that with a series of uh, tools uh, that we call jig kits. Uh, that allow us to position points and then snap objects to those points. So I'm just going to grab this uh, snap point, tracks on the grid, and bring it down to where to a convenient point, and then grab this object and it will just snap right to it. Now I need to rotate that into place. You can see it's uh, misaligned. And so I'll just grab uh, this and swing it down. Actually, I'm going to flip it this way first. There we go. And then, then we'll flip it. Yes. And then, like so. And now I'll cut that in. I'm going to designate this is the blade. It's the thing that's going to do the cutting. And okay. This is the thing yeah. that will be cut. And I'll do a subtract. I can take this away and this away. And there's our there entry. The foyer. Gorgeous. Now, so you guys are planning on doing a Kickstarter program relatively soon. That's right. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Um, we're going to go up on Kickstarter probably in the next couple of weeks, sometime in April. Okay. Uh, our, we see our natural constituents as being kind of threefold. Uh, 3D print enthusiasts, because anything that comes out of this CAD engine, uh, and then finally VR enthusiasts. Uh, this is just a natural for the Rift, and we're I'm personally very happy that the Rift uh, has come along and made all the right decisions, creating a wide field of view, uh, a lightweight head mount that is that really immerses you. That uh, wide field of view that seemed like uh, there was a, a, a dark time of uh, ten years <laughs> or so when uh, head-mounted displays were going narrow field of view, and, and they were just trying to convince us that that was a good thing. 
Well, thanks so much for taking the time to to show me this. It's a it's really it's a very powerful system, and I can't wait for the Kickstarter that's going to bring it to the masses for a very reasonable, very reasonable amount of money. Was it that's twenty great. twenty and a hundred dollars well, roughly? It's be, something. It'll certainly be under a hundred dollars, but we're mm -hmm. looking at a at a twenty dollar uh, just build and play uh, uh, version. Excellent. Thanks so much for taking the time. Great. Thank you. Bye.